Actors in the civil space have revealed the plans to award the global most corrupt person as a way to end corruption in the world. Chief Executive of an anti-corruption agency connected uh, development code, Amzat Lawal and other stakeholders made this known at a forum in Abuja. Our correspondent, Margaret Obo, tells us more. Corruption is a complex social, political and economic phenomenon that affects all countries globally. Several policies have been made around the world to curtail the high level of corruption, but the many still persist. The I Follow the Money application is aimed at promoting accountability in government across the world. Today we're working to award the most corrupt pe person in the world. So again, what this would showcase is when we flag corrupt practices, with this initiative, we would award corrupt people out. We will give them award, you know. And as and I believe if we continue to shame them, sh using evidence based on how they are either mismanaging, misappropriating, or embezzling public resources, this would make people change their ways. At the point where a lot of legislation in the house is. Uh, attempting to shrink that space even further and not allow media to be able to uh, provide space for people to be able to actively engage government policies and processes. Uh, this tech, I think, will actually put more power in the hands of people to monitor projects and follow uh, the money as it is at their various levels. These actors in the civic space are seeking collaboration from all stakeholders to help put an end to corruption through this platform. Just a few days ago, the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs made an expose that billions was a marked under her MDA and she knows nothing about it. We know that the National Assembly have summoned the Minister of Finance. But this is why we're worried and this is why we're doing what we're doing with I Follow the Money platform. Flow the Money is doing this in governance. If we have increased stakeholders um, driving such uh, platforms, we can have several of them which would enable us to have um, the government and gov the type of governance that we desire. They say the adoption of this initiative will aid Nigerians in taking actions regarding corruption from the comfort of their smartphones. From the nation's capital, Margaret Ogbo, Silverbird News 24.